we're diving into the L-sit. Such a great challenge for the upper body and it incorporates a lot of straight leg hip flexion, core compression, that involves spine training as well. So it works on total body involvement. So really straightforward challenge, and I've gotta be honest, this has so much carryover to an else. What I'd like, I would suggest maybe the skinny yoga block right here, just inside ankle. If that's too much for you, you can go without a yoga block challenge, but try it for now. Basically, we're gonna go one leg over, opposite leg over, and then one leg back, opposite leg back. That would be one, we're gonna do three. Take a moment, try not to lean back. Imagine, or even if you want, sit against the wall when you do these. Stay perfectly upright, no backwards lean is okay. Think anterior pelvic tilt, or radiate right hip, right quad, right shin. Lift that leg up, hover in, hover in, hover in, set down. Don't lean back, breath in. Think left leg, hover up, hover in, decelerate down. Take a second, it's harder than it looks. Right leg is gonna come back, lift up, hovering out, decelerate into that half skinny straddle. Left leg, lift up, hover wide, decelerate down. Now, if you just cramped out, it shows you straight leg hip flexion, maybe a weak point, regress for now. Walk your hands back, bend your elbows if you need to. Right into our second rep, breath in, radiate, think hip flexor, lift up, hover in slow, three, two, control that descent, don't bend that knee. Left leg tension, lift up, hover in, decelerate down, take a second, right leg coming first up, pulling over, control that descent, Danny's doing a great job not leaning back, challenge yourself, exhale as you clear that block, take a moment, breath in. Breath out, switching it up for our last rep. We'll go left leg first. Head squeeze back, lift that left leg, squeezing in, set down soft. It's usually harder for that second leg, just a heads up. Lifting up, squeezing in, set down soft. Left leg going back over, up, squeezing wide into flexion and abduction, set down soft. Right leg coming up and over. So. Skinny straddle to seated L hovers. It starts prepping our hips to get into that straight leg hip flexion requirement. Hips should be feeling pretty good. It's time to bring our intent back towards our spine. We already worked on our low back, but we didn't really warm up our thoracic spine much. I just talked about it for Danny. As we do our L sit, it's so important to keep our chest up. Challenging thoracic extension. You're gonna to wanna to round your back to try and cheat a little bit in our L sit here. Wanna stay up nice and tall, making it all about our scapula and our shoulders. So, T spine extension up next. One of our favorite exercises of the prone butcher's block lift off. Really straightforward, even though it sounds confusing. You're gonna lie on your belly, just need your two yoga blocks. If your spine's a little limited, have your pillow as well. So prone position, the butcher's block setup refers to taking our hands on the back of our neck and propping our elbows up on the yoga blocks. The traditional setup's actually using the bench. So if you Google search butcher's block stretch, it's gonna look a lot like this, but kneeling on a bench. I like to do it prone so we can make sure we're not using that low back too much. To help with that, just make sure your feet stay heavy on the floor. You don't have to push them down too much, but they can't start lifting away. That would be your low back starting to extend. We don't want too much anterior pelvic tilt here. Think about some pelvis tuck, some low back engagement. Let your spine just sink into a T-spine extension. So find some extension, find some extension. Maybe there's some stretch in the belly underneath the sternum. If there's any pinching in the low back, either means the yoga blocks are too high, or maybe you wanna prop your pelvis up. You can use a pillow to help with that, or just again, bring the elbows down lower. You're gonna train liftoffs. I'm asking you to actively lift away from the yoga blocks. Not yet, this is gonna be really hard. The idea is segmenting into extension in order to lift the elbows away. Don't flex your shoulders to lift off. Instead, peel your chest away from the floor to lift off. Really tough, only four. Think a three count up, a three count back down, six second reps. Feet are heavy in the ground. A breath in, lift yourself up, peel away. Three, two, one, float back down. Three, two, one. That's really good control for Danny. She's already pretty high into extension. If you can't clear the box, go lower. Heavy here, rep two, lift up. Three, two, one, control back down. Three, two, one. Your spine's going to extend low. The entire intent is fighting it. Make sure you press those feet down. Rep three, peeling away from the floor. Extend that T-spine, hold, peel back down. Two, one, mid-back burning. Last rep, use that thoracic spine. Peel away, Danny, lift away, lift away, hold, hold. Back down, back down, back down. Just four reps, T-spine extension liftoffs. Really powerful drill to prep that upper back. So with that in mind, next up, we've got to talk about our scapula. A lot of scapular involvement in the L-sit, in my opinion, is the biggest need after that straight leg hip flexion. Please have a seat, let's chat. Okay, seated L position. It looks like an L-sit, but sitting on the floor. Try and stay up tall, some APT, some spine extension. Now, if being here is really hard in your lower back, 
One, it shows in straight leg hip flexion that lumbar spine control is big for you. But for now, you can sit up on a pillow to regress a little bit. If you do that, you do want your hands elevated as Danny's showing you. I'm gonna show this actually on fingertips, which you can do, but if it bothers your wrists or your fingers to try it, use the yoga blocks. The idea here is we're starting in scapula elevation. If you can, allow some protractions. Our shoulders are up and forward. All we're gonna try and do is keep protraction and depress by pushing down through the floor until your hips rise. That's the lift off. We're gonna do eight of these as it's pretty much what you need from your scaps in an L-set. Lock those arms, breath in, radiate tension, protract and push down until those hips rise. Hold that and then sink down into the protraction and elevation. That's it, one. Pressing down, hips will rise. Keep that chest proud, nice and slow on the way down. Each rep a little bit longer, a little bit taller. Pressing down, hold, fail back down slow. That's three. Again, if this is too much on your fingertips, please regress to Danny's setup. Keep that head squeeze back, keep that chest up. Here's five, pressing through that floor. Feel that upper back, burn, hold. Don't let your elbows bend here. Use your triceps, use everything in the back of the body, pressing and hold. Irradiate, try and lock your knees, lock your ankles. L-sit, scapula, depression, presses, love these. Last two reps. As you press, make sure head is still. Don't let it become a neck drill. Last one, driving through that floor. And have a seat. Okay, that's exactly what your scaps need to do in an L-sit. Now look, that position we were just in, as you press through those scaps, yes, it's about the scapular depression protraction, but just getting our arms slightly behind us into this position is about shoulder extension. Shoulder extension with rotation hover. Really fun option. We'll do four reps, maybe have a pillow handy to go underneath the forehead, but lying on the belly, prop that forehead up. So we're down prone, we've got the head blocked up. For these, we're going to start each rep in internal rotation. So try and turn your hands out, let the hands rest on the floor. If it's comfortable, let your scapula protract to start. Now, yoga blocks are an optional challenge, gonna go right outside the elbow. This height's probably enough for most of us. I might be mean to Danny on reps three and four and bring it up a little bit. The idea, starting an IR, not gonna do this yet, but starting an IR, we'll lift up as high as we can, we'll externally rotate like an axial, like a car, hover over the block and set down an ER. From there, we're gonna lift, come back into IR, hover over the block, set back down where we started, that would be one, we gotta do four. Just like we did before when we're prone, legs are heavy on the floor, this time head is resting. Start with initiation of scapular retraction. Peel scapula together, lift arms up as high as they can. Up, 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 hold. ER, Danny easily clears the blocks and then just barely sets down. Retract, lift hands up as high as you can. Up, 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 internally rotate, squeeze in. IR, squeeze in, this is the challenge. Max out IR and adduction inside those yoga blocks. It's harder than you think and it's gonna teach you to use that scap and those lats there in IR really carries over well. So rep two, scaps, retract, arms up, arms up, arms up, ER, hover block, hover block, hover block, turn out, decelerate down, decelerate down. Lifting back up, internally rotate, squeeze in, squeeze in, max out IR, squeeze inside of those blocks, decelerate to the floor. I'm gonna try it, it's gonna be tough I think, but we're gonna go vertical here, keep it right around the elbows, maybe just before the elbows, retract heavy feet, lift up, External rotation as you hover out, turn out and hover, turn out and hover, decelerate down, small rep. This is gonna be the hard part, coming back, lifting up. As we lift, internally rotate and squeeze in. Pull in towards one another, squeeze inside of those blocks. Very good, one more rep. Again, Danny's got great shoulders. If you're not quite there yet, that's okay. You don't need that much range for an l -sit. It's just a challenge for now. Retract, lift up, find my hand, Danny, find my hand, good. ER, hover, hover, hover. Decelerate down, small half rep. Coming back, lift up. This is the tough part, internally rotate, heavy feet, heavy feet. Don't push that head into the floor, clear those blocks. And don't slam down, you will feel those shoulders burning. All right, so here is the fun part. We've got a drop set challenge. We're gonna do two rounds. A drop set means we do a hard exercise, we do an easier exercise and we keep going. Don't pick the one you can't do. Just start at the variation that you're able to attain. Maybe get an extra round of those or get some extra time and attention, some more volume. What we're gonna do, 10 second full L-sit hold. I'm gonna go off my hands. Danny's going off the parallels. I will do my best to cue while holding an L-sit for 10 seconds. We will see how it goes. Then we're gonna have an assisted L-sit. I will show you quickly how we're gonna do it. It's just gonna be foot assisted. We'll press up the same way. Some of your weight will stay on your feet, but you're gonna do your best to hold that L-sit position in that good protracted and depressed scapula, keeping our chest up nice and tall. And then last one, we're gonna get some L-sit lift offs. So the hands forward, lifting our legs as Danny's showing you. And then some L-sit lift offs, leaning back a little bit. 
That is the challenge. We have to get through it twice. So in a seated L, let's get it. One thing we didn't speak about in our L sits, if you can, we want to point our toes. Point those toes, lock those knees. Think about hip flexors. Think about scap depression. Go ahead, press yourself through the floor and hold 10 seconds if you can. Hips off the ground, straighten those legs. Keep your protraction, keep those scaps, the pressing chest up. This is hard to talk while doing. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, have a seat. Breath in and out. Now, if you can't do a full L-sit, obviously there's a strain component. It's can you drive through scapula and keep your legs up? It's hard. Regression option one, yoga blocks under feet. On these, you don't have to worry about pointing your ankles. Might get a little bit weird, but we're trying to protract and depress. Lift those hips and hold barely any weight on your feet. Driving down, stay tall. Stay tall. We got 10 seconds here. A little bit easier for me to cue. Lock those legs, hips up high, hold. Chest tall, don't round. Three, two, one. Have a seat. Yoga block out of the way. All right, hopefully that was attainable for you. Wiggle around those wrists for a second if you need to. Last challenge. So sitting up tall, seated up. Forward fold as far as you can. From there, back up about halfway will be nice. Breath in, point those toes, think low abs. Allow some flexion, lift up. Decelerate down, five reps. Lock those knees, lift those legs. Nice and slow lowering. Lift those legs, lower down. All right, last five. Sit back. If you want hands behind you on these, you can, or hands a few inches in front. <sighs> Lift up, lower down slow. Don't have to max out range of motion, but control each way. Lifting up, lock those knees, lower down. <sighs> last one. Lift up, lower down slow. That was only one round through. I'm going to be nice for a second. Cross-legged position. I want 10 big breaths in and out. So last few breaths here. Now, that full series is really tough and I'm not expecting you to do the full thing. What I'm hoping is that one or two of those variations is a good starting point for you. So whether you're on parallels or on the floor, remember it's about straight legged flexion, it's about those ankles, it's about those scapula. Press those hips up, point those toes, 10 seconds breathing here. Feet stay straight ahead, they don't have to be too high. Keep that chest proud, try not to lean over. Three, two, one, I hope that was 10 seconds because that was about it for me. Take a moment, catch your breath. Yoga block goes under our feet, heels elevated here. We've got some weight on our feet, but not that much. It's still hard. Keep your ankles a little more dorsiflex. I wouldn't overthink it. Now, great option to challenge if that full else it's not there yet. Press through scaps, driving up, lift your chest. Try not to round over. Keep your head squeezed back. Think scap depression, scap protraction, push down. Push down, legs are just light. Three, two, one. One, set down soft. Not easy by any means. Everyone's favorite L-sit liftoffs. Again, we max out forward, fold about as far as we can before it's a spine drill. Back up halfway, right about there for me. Can go fingertips here, point those toes, five reps here. Lift up, control down. All about those low abs, all about that lumbar flexion control. Decelerate down, don't rush it. Use your breathing, lock those knees. One more here. Back up halfway, last five. Stay tall, don't round away here. Don't lean back too much. Think about hip flexors, pull those legs up. Decelerate down, two more. Lifting up, slow down, last one. Hold, five count down, five, four, three, two. That was mean. Have a seat, breathing again. Give me five breaths in and out after. Slow that heart rate. So as you can see, as we get further into our training, things get tough. Joint strength training can only take you so far. When you want to achieve your goal positions, you have to get in that position, build strength and control. 